Let's run through an example using the R formula to find the max or the minimum value of a given expression. So the question read, by expressing the following as a single trigonometric term, find the maximum and minimum value of the expression and the corresponding value of x which the max or the mean occurs. We notice that the question, the format of the question is a number cos x plus another number sin x. So this is the format for our formula. Something sin x plus something cos x or something sin x minus something cos x. So both of them I can express as a trigonom single trigonometric term using our formula. So let's start from part A. 3 cos x plus 4 sin x. Since cos is in front, I'm going to use the cos term. Now the number in front is given by the square root of this number square, this number square. Okay, so it's the square root of 3 square plus 4 square, ignoring all the signs here. And then cosine, the angle must be the same, so it's x. And if you are using cosine, this sign must change. So minus, then tangent inverse, second number over the first number. So it's 4 over 3. And by pressing the calculator, you get 5 cos x minus 53.13 degree. Working is 2dp for working and then final answer is 1dp so it's 5 cosine x minus 53.1 so that is the answer for expressing the two trigonometric terms into a single trigonometric term now let's proceed to find the maximum and minimum value of this expression now we know that the cosine graph starting from origin actually descends and then ascend but the sine graph actually starts from origin with the ascend then descend so when you add multiples of these two together you will not know what will happen due to the sum of these two curves now that's why they want you to find the maximum value of this whole expression so but we know that this whole expression is equivalent to a cosine graph and with this, it's quite easy to get the max value. So the max value is equivalent to 5 times the max value of a, any cosine graph, which is 1. So it's 5. And it happens when the cosine value actually reaches its max. The cosine value reaches its max at 1. So looking at your cosine graph, okay, it's like that. Now you know that it reaches 1 when x is 0 or when x is 360. Which means that this angle here will be 0 degree or 360. So x minus 53.1 is 0 degree or 360. Now we usually solve for a range of x between 0 and 360. So that means that x, when you add 53.1 degree on both sides, you are going to get 53.1 and the other angle will be rejected. So that is the answer to the question. The max value of the whole expression here is 5 and this happens when x is 53.1 degree. Let's proceed to get the minimum value of the whole expression by getting the minimum of this cosine term. So minimum of the value of the whole expression will be 5 times the minimum value of the cosine term, which is minus 1. That will give me minus 5. And the cosine value is equals to minus 1.
looking at the cosine graph again, you can see that when it's minus 1, the angle is 180. That means that this angle here will be 180. So x minus 53.13 is 180. So x will be 233.1 degree. Now the final answer must always be 1 dp. And then the working here must always be 2 dp. So which means that previously here, my this step should be 2 dp, 2 dp, working 2 dp, and then the final answer 1 dp. Okay? Um, so now we know the minimum value of the expression is minus 5, and it happens when x is 233.1. Range of x is from 0 to 360. Let's move on to part b. Expressing 3 sin x minus cos x as a single trigonometric term. Since sin is the first term, we will have to use the sine function. And the number in front is given by square root of this number square and the number here square, ignoring the sine. So it's 3 square plus 1 square. Since I'm using sine, I will have to copy the sign in the question, the minus place over here, and then tangent inverse, second number over the first number, ignoring the sign again, so it's one third. Then uh, evaluating the answer, I get root 10 sine x minus 18.43, working 2dp, and then after that final answer, 1 dp sine x minus 18.4 degree. So this is my answer. Now I go ahead to find the max value of the whole expression. Will be root 10. The max value of this is equal to the max value of this. Okay, max value of the sine graph is 1. So root 10 times 1, which is root 10. And your curse when your sign value is 1. Now drawing the sign graph, sign graph is up, down, up. If So if you want your sign value to be 1, your angle here is 90 degree. So that means x minus 18.43 is actually 90 degree because sine 90 is 1. So this must be 90. So which means that your x value will be 108.4. Final answer round up to 1 dp. Let's proceed with the minimum value. The minimum value of the whole expression will be root 10 times the minimum value of the sine graph. Now you can see the minimum value of the sine graph is minus 1. So I'm going to put the sine value as minus 1. So the minimum value of the whole expression is minus root 10. And it occurs when you make your sine value as minus 1. Looking at the graph again, when the sine value is minus 1, your angle should be 270 degree. So which means this angle here is 270. X minus 18.43 is 270. So your X will be 288.4 degree. Alright. Uh, now bear in mind, we'll try to solve X between 0 and 360 as far as possible. So my answer is for X is this. And I've answered the whole questions because they want for the max value and the corresponding value of x over here. Also, they want the mean value followed by the corresponding value of x. So I've completed this example on finding the max and mean value of an expression which has a sine term and a cost term being added or subtracted.
together using the R formula.